nowadays electrical vehicles are rapidly increasing on the road due to environmental benefits and decreasing battery price according to energy outlook and international energy agency the ev number is expected to reach 250 million by end of 2030 but the main problem with the electric vehicles is charging process it's take long charging time to charge the battery traditional electric vehicle charging units uses level 1 and level 2 type chargers they can fully charge the battery between 4 to 6 hours which is only feasible for overnight or charging at work recently for fast charging level 3 charging units are used they can charge the electric vehicle in less than 30 minutes however the high charging power value of these units brings additional burden to the power grids generally electric vehicle charging stations has non-linear characteristics it affects the power quality by causing voltage fluctuations and power losses so this is our main problem in this research we will design electrical vehicle fast charging stations and also we will fix voltage fluctuations like voltage sag and voltage swell so that we can improve energy management for our dc microgrid this is our main aim now let's get into the concept how we can rectify this Generally, electrical vehicle charging stations are located at distribution side, right? So, for electrical vehicle charging stations, where we are getting the power? We are getting the power from grid for electrical vehicles. Okay. For a grid, who given the power? Grid will take the power from the generation stations like solar power generations or thermal power plants or diesel generators, whatever it may be. Okay. They will take the power from generation stations. This is the main power flow. So, here what is our main object to, to eliminate? voltage sags and voltage swells okay so that is our main motive so generally to eliminate voltage sags and voltage swells what we are having we will generally use fag devices like dstatcom or dvr whatever it may be okay so if you seen the circuit diagram for any fag device for example if you take the dstatcom how it will be it has separate dc source and give it to the one inverter to convert the dc into ac and they give it to the transmission system this is how this tatcom look like okay if you seen our topic so in our system if you look at the electrical vehicles we have the batteries right the batteries will be act as a dc source okay then our grid will be ac right so to convert this dc into ac obviously we have inverters by using inverter we can convert this battery dc into ac which is required for our grid okay so if you seen this part how it look like it look like a our dstatcom right so it has separate dc source and we can convert the dc into ac by using the inverter and then you can able, able to give it to the grid or transmission line so by using this concept we can able to eliminate the voltage sags and voltage swell how it, it can be eliminated for example for our grid or transmission line we are getting the voltage sag okay voltage sag means what we can getting the lesser voltage which is required for the our system for example if you want 230 volts during the fault condition we are getting only 100 volts that is the voltage sag so remaining voltage you can give it to the transmission line by using our electrical vehicle dc source this is how we can able to eliminate the sags and coming to swell what is swell we are getting the higher voltages required for the system okay so how we can eliminate this if you get the higher voltage in the transmission line we can take that voltages to our electrical vehicle because electrical vehicle have the battery it can charge and it can discharge right so in the swell condition the whatever the voltage higher voltage it is having battery will take that okay then battery will charge that can be used by the electrical vehicle so finally you can able to get the steady state ac that is the main objective here how we are eliminating voltage sags and voltage swells by using our electrical vehicle charging system now let's see our proposed block diagram so this is our proposed system as we discussed earlier here we have the electrical vehicle charging stations and this is the power grid and here we have the generation stations like pv panels or diesel generator so basically in the solar we are getting the dc in diesel generator we are getting the ac these two are different powers right so first of all we need to convert this ac into dc by using the rectifier here okay then both will get the ac then you can able to connect to the low voltage dc bus this is the low voltage dc bus we are taking 
सेवन थर्टी वो ओके यूजली सोलर पवर जनरेशन डज नाट गिव द कांस्टेंट सप्लाई दट वे वी आर यूजिंग द बूस्ट कन्वर्टर विद द हेल्प ऑफ मैक्सिम पवर पॉइंट ट्रैकिंग कंट्रोल देन यू कैन एबल टू गेट द स्टडी डीसी ओके सो वेन आफ द सोलर इज नॉट अवेलेबल यू कैन एबल टू टेक द पवर फ्रम दिस डीसी जनरेटर देन यू कैन एबल टू गेट द ट्वेंटी फोर बै सेवन सप्लाई देन द आउटपुट डीसी विल बी गोइंग टू ग्रिड नौ द मेन थिंग टू एलिमेट द वोल्टेज फ्लक्चुएस फ्रम हियर पवर ग्रिड टू एलक्ट्रिकल वेहिकल चारजिंग स्टेशन इट विल एक्ट एज ए डी स्टार्ट कम only this part will be act as a d start com so because electrical vehicle have dc source and we can able to give that to the bidirectional ac to dc converter whenever electrical vehicle voltage is given to the grid then that will be v to g operation as well as whenever the grid voltage is goes to electrical vehicle then that is grid to vehicle operation so both operations will be performing here and also it act as a d start com so that it can be able to eliminate voltage fluctuations like voltage cell and voltage sag to power grid not only electrical vehicles some other loads also connected right that's why they are taking some ac loads here so this is the main schematic diagram we are taking here now let's look into separate schematic diagrams this is the block diagram for our electrical vehicle charger so here we have the electrical vehicle battery and this is our grid so during electrical vehicle charging so the grid power will be going to our electrical vehicle battery right so that it will be act as a g to v operation and that is called ev charging in that operation our grid ac will be converting into dc by using this ac to dc converter then by using buck converter our electrical vehicle will be charging because our grid will be higher voltages electrical vehicle need low voltage so to step down that we are using the buck operation here okay when coming to v to g operation because when our grid need our electrical vehicle will be give power to the grid right in that operation our electrical vehicle will be low voltage dc by using boost converter we can boost up that voltage because grid need higher voltages we have only low voltage okay so to convert that we are using the boost converter basically this is dc to dc buck boost converter bidirectional buck boost converter so that it can buck as well as it can boost the voltage so during v2g it will boost up the voltage and then this dc will be converting into ac and give it to the grid because grid need only ac we are having the dc that's why we are using this inverter for converting dc into ac so this is v2g operation and here our electrical vehicle will be discharging condition so basically these two are the same circuits you can be able to take the same converter which is used for the bidirectional okay it can convert ac to dc as well as dc to ac in the simulation we have only single circuit i will show you that also in the simulation now let's go to block diagram for d stat com so same thing we are seeing before that is vehicle to grid and grid to vehicle operation same schematic it will act as a d stat com here okay so here why we need this stat com to eliminate the voltage sags and voltage swells we are required this stat com right so whenever the voltage sag occurred means grid have low voltage we need to give power to the grid that is nothing but vehicle to grid operation whenever sag is occurred we will do this operation okay so whenever the swell is occurs swell means what grid is having high voltages okay in that condition electrical vehicle need to take the power from the grid because it is already having the higher voltages more than the reference okay so in that operation grid to vehicle operation is performed then our electrical vehicle battery will take the power from the grid and it can charge this is how d stat com will work to eliminate the voltage sag and voltage swell okay so here we are having the electrical vehicle by using dc dc buck boost converter we can boost up the voltage or we can reduce the voltage by using the universal bridge we can able to convert the dc into ac as well as ac into dc here we are using the three phase filter why we are using the passive filter because so here we are getting the dc right but grid need ac so any inverter can't give pure ac it will give only pulsating ac to convert this pulsating ac into pure ac we are taking some passive filters here they are taking the lc passive filter so to convert the pure ac after converting pure ac you can give to the grid so like this the operation will be performed okay so here they are taking the loads as well here swell will be occurred and we here sag will be occurred by using our this stat com those two fluctuations will be removed okay that is the main use of this block diagram and here in electrical vehicle and everywhere we are using the power alternate converters right turn on and to turn off the this power alternate converter switches we are using the control parts as well as pulse width modulation techniques okay so let's see those things this is our control system block diagram here we are taking the grid values because in grid we are having the three phase right that's why we are taking three phase voltage so to control that three phase voltage it requires three different parameters we need three different pa controllers to control the things but here i am converting this three phase into two phase that means ab to dq conversion that is known as parks transformation 
so for converting this three phase into two phase we can decrease the number of blocks and also we can separately control the act one react two components here d means direct axis and q means quadrature axis okay we can indirectly control the real term and imaginary term that's why we are converting this three phase into two phase here now after converting two phase we can control the direct and quadrature axis separately by using our pa controller after rectifying the error our output will be given to pulse width modulation generator then this pulse width modulation generator will give pulses to our power alternate converters so based on that the switches will be on and off so without this control part we can't control our system basically by using this only we need to perform when it will be v2g and when it will be g2v without this the system can't determine whether we need to charge the battery or discharge the battery so based on these conditions only like we are taking the reference value and we are taking the actual value so based on these things only you can able to control the system when it will be performed and when the switches will be on when the switches will be off how much we need to charge and how much we need to discharge so everything will be depending on this control part only okay now let's do this simulation in matlab and eliminate the voltage sag and voltage swell okay let's open the matlab this is our matlab simulation for our concept here i am taking the diesel generator as per our concept which i explained earlier and also here i am taking the solar cell solar power generation here this is our main source when the solar is not available then you can able to depending on the diesel generator so for here for solar we are taking the irradiation value 1000 and temperature 25 degrees okay so after this we are giving to the boost converter with the help of mppt technique so here i am using the incremental connectance mppt and this is our boost converter without this we can't get the constant dc so after the boost converter we can give to the low voltage dc bus okay this is the low voltage dc bus here where solar output and our diesel generator output will connect basically for diesel generator we are getting only ac so to converting the dc into dc we are using the rectifier here this universe will be jacked as a rectifier and for gate pulses we are using the pulse width modulation generator here then here our electrical vehicle will be connected ev you can double click on this then you can able to see our electrical vehicle this is our electrical vehicle battery and this is our buck push converter so whenever the battery will charge then it need to perform buck operation whenever battery is discharging then it need to perform boost operation based on what conditions so based on below control part it is taking so this is the voltage reference that is 480 volts we are taking this is the actual voltage that is having the battery so same voltage what we measured here we are taking it as a actual value this is the reference then both will be compare and the error will be rectified by using pa controller same as well voltage we are controlling the current also then you can give it to the pa controller and pulse width modulation then you can give it to the buck boost operation so based on these two our switches will be on buck switch and boost switch will be on so in between these two why i am taking not get because this buck and boost switches will be in the same lag right if you turn on these two switches at a time it will be short circuit or if you turn off it will be open circuit that's why i am taking the not get here so whenever the buck switch will be on definitely boost will be off whenever this boost will be on definitely buck will be off then our circuit will be safe for short circuit false and open circuit false this is our electrical vehicle part so after this we are connecting to the grid by using the inverter so this is the inverter with the help of passive filter this lc filter is the passive filter because to converting the pulsating ac into pure ac we are taking the passive filter so during vehicle to grid operation this vehicle power is going to this inverter then grid whenever g2v operation this grid power will be going to inverter and our electrical vehicle and here i am connecting the normal ac loads and here i am giving the sag and swell conditions and here i am giving the swell operation so voltage is increasing so here the control part we are taking as we discussed earlier we are taking the three phase voltage and three phase current and converting into direct and quarter axis and controlling the direct axis and quarter axis separately and again converting dq into abc and give it to our positive modulation and our inverter switches this is the control operation now let's run the simulation and see the output now we can see the outputs here in the first figure you can able to see battery state of charge current and voltage and here we can able to see voltage of the grid just double click on here now you can able to get the output this is our output here we are getting the sag and swell as well actually first one is the three phase output we are getting and converting into single line waveform then it will be like this okay so both are same waveforms but to observe the clear changes we are seeing in the single line here you can able to see this is sag and this is swell so like this voltage fluctuations will be occurred and this is the battery scopes first one will be state of charge state of charge increasing means battery is charging so whenever the battery is charging definitely voltage will increase that's why voltage is increasing and also voltage is inversely proportional to current that's why current will be decreased now let's see while discharging condition 
so this is the discharging model same like before but here this is the heart of the project here battery is discharging means battery is giving power back to the grid okay that is the main thing happened here so just run the simulation and open the scopes so here you can able to see the output will be steady state here you can able to see we are giving the same sag and swell here at the loads but we are getting the steady state because our electrical vehicle is acting as a d stat come whenever sag and swells will be occurred then that will be charge and discharge so now you can look at the single line waveform also it is nearly steady state condition that is the main thing we are made here now you can see the battery waveforms also so here battery is discharging that means vehicle to grid operation is performing and it is act as a d stat com okay so that is the our main aim to reduce the voltage fluctuations and to maintain the power quality we are using the electric vehicle charging station as d stat com that's it that is the conclusion of the concept we can able to rectify the voltage sags and voltage swells effectively by using our electric vehicle charging station as d stat com and i am attaching reference paper of this project in the video description you can check if you like this project if you want then contact me i will provide you thank you